Hello, my name is Yodit Hagos, and I'm going to be talking to you briefly about everything you need to know about scholarships. And this presentation is part of the iGrad Financial Literacy Series. What are scholarships and grants? A scholarship is a monetary gift that an organization gives to an individual based on a set of standards, whereas a grant is used to denote a needed based monetary gift that takes into account your family's financial situation. Did you know that a scholarship award might actually reduce the amount of money you'll receive from the school's own grant program? Of course, federal rules require schools to factor in outside sources of financing. Scholarships are included when determining a financial aid package. However, when you win a private scholarship from an outside source, the school could reduce the financial aid package by the amount of the award. This is usually referred to as an overaward by the schools or a displacement by the scholarship provider. An overaward might be remedied by sh shrinking the loan portion of your student's financial aid package. So who is eligible for scholarships? Perhaps you're worried about competing against other students who may have better grades, higher test scores, or more impressive extracurricular activities. If so, there's good news for you. Merit is a broad and subjective term. Merit-based scholarships are indeed awarded to individuals who best meet given qualifications, but merit can be measured in countless ways and applied to a wide range of activities. Meritorious really just means deserving. You are meritorious in many ways. Your job in the application process is to identify your merits and put them on display. Remember, scholarships generally have a narrow focus seeking to award certain accomplishments, fund particular projects, assist a group of people, or identify and promote specialty niches. For example, some common targets include older and returning students or adult-focused education, athletes offered by the National College Athletic Association and the National Association for Intercollegiate Athletics, and by individual schools to name a few. Minority groups, as in the United Negro College Fund, the American Indian College Fund, the HSI College Fund, and the APIA uh, Scholarship Scholars Program. People with disabilities, religious groups, women, students of military families offered by the Veterans Association or Department of Defense, foreign students wishing to study in the U.S., domestic students wishing to study internationally. This type of scholarship is typically offered by students own school, need-based or financial aid, special skills or academic focus, art and music, for instance, community-based, career-specific. Where can I find scholarships? Take a personal inventory. Are you a part of a club or association? See if they offer any scholarships. For example, your school's alumni association may be inclined to help those from their alma mater. How about your employer? Ask HR to see if there is a tuition assistance program in place or if the company would be inclined to sponsor your education if it benefits the company. Lastly, anyone who is familiar with your personal strengths, such as an advisor, a teacher, or a family friend, is a great source as well. The Financial Aid Office at UNLV is likely equipped with tools and resources to help you. There are also many websites devoted solely to searching for and finding scholarships with a vast range of features and databases. Remember that the goal is to find scholarships that are looking for applicants like you. Additionally, UNLV, the center, and iGrad offer scholarships to apply to. How should I organize my scholarship search? Here is no wrong or right way or format to use to stay organized. Just be sure to choose something that works for you. Your tracking sheet should include sections for the name of the scholarship, application requirements, the preferred method of submission, contact information, deadlines, columns for tracking progress, notes, or any research that you have done on the scholarship or the scholarship committee. How do I apply for scholarships? Most scholarships will require that student need to complete an application form, write an essay, or even complete an interview. The schedule, be sure to use your centralized tracking sheet to prioritize. Take into account the amount of effort required for each scholarship and deadlines. Follow a schedule and then concentrate on one application at a time. Follow the directions. Scholarships applications are very particular in their requirements. 
you must provide exactly what they ask for or you may be disqualified. It is well worth your time to read and reread directions carefully. Formalize your tone. Whenever there is an opportunity to write a response to a question, mirror the tone and language of the scholarship. The reasoning for this is twofold. Not only does it require you to read the application and directions thoroughly and critically, but it also conveys to the scholarship committee, if only subconsciously, that you are an applicant who fits in with the culture of the organization. Answer all the optional questions. If the scholarship application gives you an opportunity to present additional information about yourself, take it. By taking the time to answer questions that are optional, you have doubled your chances of winning a scholarship. Compared to students who skip these questions, writing the essay, brainstorm ideas, scholarships, occasionally ask pointed essay questions, but more often the prompts are designed to allow for a broad array of acceptable responses. Students who have difficulty writing are welcome to be creative here. Use whatever method you need to get your mind moving. Research. Before writing, research the scholarship advisory board or awarding body. You might even look up the members of the committee for personal details. It can't hurt to know your audience. Research past winners. Their essays are sometimes posted and reading through them can give you a good idea of what the scholarship committee is looking for. A note on conformity. It can be tempting to stand out from the crowd by crafting an untraditional essay, but your individuality should show forth in the content of your essay and not in the structure. Wacky formats may come off as gimmicky and can underscore your professionalism. Whenever possible, stick to a standard essay format, an introduction, a well-organized body, paragraphs, and a conclusion, and reuse the essay when possible, but not without a bit of customized tailoring. Editing. Once you have a solid draft of your application put together, get some critical feedback. Ask a friend, a fellow student, a coworker, a parent, or a teacher to look at your application. These individuals might catch something you didn't, the interview. Some scholarships may include an interview as a part of their application process. If you make it to this step, congratulations! You are likely a top tier candidate. In preparing for this interview, consider the following tips. Research the organization, including its members, its mission statement, and any publications it might have produced, and any recent press or media attention it might have garnished. You'll want to incorporate some of this knowledge into your responses in order to demonstrate that you are serious about the organization and you are in line with their values. If possible, try to figure out who your interviewer or members of the interviewing team will be so you will have an idea of what to expect on the day of. Practice answering interview questions. You can find commonly asked questions from various interview prep materials. But don't be surprised if you hear a wild card or two. Interviewers will often throw a fun or random question into the mix to gauge your reaction under pressure. Prepare a few questions to ask the interviewer as well, not only to demonstrate your interest in the organization, but also to show that you're thinking critically. On the day of the interview, dress professionally and be personable. Happy scholarship hunting and be sure to cast a wide net and apply to as many scholarships as you feel you are reasonably qualified to receive. Additionally, if you need any resources such as a scholarship tracking sheet, essay writing templates, and or a list of scholarships, be sure to contact the CAEO College Programs Office. The information is listed on the description below.